Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video we are going to recreate this makeup look using the KKW eyeshadow palette from the So Fire collection. So if you want to see how I got this look then go ahead and keep watching. <laughs> and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. For today's video, I figured we could play around with a couple Honest Beauty products and then keep our eye look and our look today focused on the KKW eyeshadow palette uh, from the collection So Fire. Now, I already like her formula and her palettes in general. Like The packaging of it is just very aesthetically pleasing to me and it looks really cool in my room with my vibe and my color scheme, but nonetheless, I do really like the formula of the palettes. And I believe it was the Mario and KKW collaboration that really made me like the palettes, but the only thing so far that bugs me about the palettes is the fact that the shade names are not on the front. Totally not a big deal, but it does bug the crap out of me. Um, but nonetheless, I will go ahead and do my base off camera and my eyebrows and everything so we can keep the look concentrated on the eyes, but let's go ahead and jump into the video. Okay, so my whole face is done, blush, bronzer, foundation, set it, concealer, all that jazz, and I did prep the one eye and obviously my eyebrows are done. So we're going to crack open this palette, and I haven't used this at all yet, like I said, I, this is new makeup that I haven't played with yet. The unicarton is just the same as the actual palette, and it has a little insert in here, and the palette itself looks like this. I don't know if that is the best lighting for you to see. So we do have um, some brown shades, red shades, and we have four shimmers. It looks like five, but four shimmers, and obviously some mattes. So I'm gonna try to do, uh, I'm gonna try to use like always, most of the shadows that I can to incorporate in the look so I can see how well the palette really is. For all I know, I might actually not like this palette, but we will go ahead and try it out. So I'm actually just gonna grab this guy right here. I'm gonna grab my JH30 brush right here, just a fluffy tapered brush to help me kind of get down a base. So this is annoying. I think it's called Fiery Eruption. Anyways, I'm going to take, oh no, I'm going to take this brown shade up here that's next to this light shade right here to start as my base, and I think I'm just going to do a halo eye, which like I've said before, just suits my eye better and I love doing them, but nonetheless, here we go. So I'm going to go on the outer and inner part of my eye and buff this in, and I'm going to look off to the side so you guys can see. If I can use this, I'm just going to use my little Marc Jacobs mirror here. So here we go. So I'm going to go on the outside. And it's just a softer brown shadow. And I did use, like always, my P. Louise base to prep my eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and just whip through this and I'll just speed it up. So you can see right here, I'm just going to try to reflect the light from my mirror so you can see it a little better. So it's just a nice wash of a soft brown. And then I'm going to go in a little tighter and I'm going to use my Morphe 330 brush. It's just a smaller version of that, just a little tapered, a little bit more tapered. And then I'm actually going to dive into, I think it's called Burnt in Bronze. It looks like, it's this one here next to the yellow. It has... Like, you probably can't see it from here. Um, it's like a shimmery kind of brown color, but it doesn't look like a shimmer. So we're going to do that, and we're going to use that to deepen up the eye. And in our outer third. Okay, now that we've got that down, it just has slightly deepened the lid, and then for the halo eye, like always, you're going to leave the center alone as much as you possibly can, so then you have your um, shadow on the outside, so when you cut it, it looks very detailed with the shadow without having to do much more work. Uh, I think I'm going to add, I'm going to use my JH32 brush, and I'm going to dip right into this guy right here. It's next to, it's too over from that yellow shade. It's like a 
reddish orange kind of brick color. And I'm going to use that and just, oh no! Um, and then, like I said, I'm going to use my JH32 and I'm just going to buff on the outside. So I'm just going to go back into that brown shade and just deepen it up a little. It's kind of what we're looking like. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut the crease. So I'm going to use, like always, my P. Louise base. And then we're going to speed through it and then we will tackle the lid. Alright, so now that I've cut my crease, I'm going to go into the yellow shimmer shade right here in the palette and I'm going to take that on the center of my lid. But I'm going to go ahead and spray it with my, oh you can even see it, my Mario Badescu spray on this tiny little brush which is my JH42. Just get it a little tacky and a little sticky to pick up as much pigment as possible. There you go. Dip right into that yellow shade and go right on the top and then work my way in just the center. Alright, so now that I've kind of got that yellow working, I'm going to go with the same brush and with it wet, I'm going to go into this copper shimmer shade and go just on the outside of the yellow and then I'm going to dive into this orange shimmer shade right here next to the yellow and go on the outside. Now that orange shade. And then I'm just gonna, as soon as I'm finished, I'm just gonna use that darker brown shade just to kind of clean it up. I'm just gonna use my Morphe 321 brush just to take that deeper brown shade that we use. There we go. You can see it. It's a nice little, um, nice little gradient. So then I'm gonna go ahead and I will do liner on camera, but then as soon as I am done, I will do mascara, lashes, and my other off camera. So I'm going to take my Makeup Revolution here, this felt tip liner. So real, really quick, I'm going to reflect my oh, my uh, mirror here, and then I'm going to go all the way in and just line the lid before I flick out. Liner is optional. Um, you don't have to do this part, but I think it'll just intensify the look. Just use <laughs> light pressure and go towards the out part of your eye and now that I've got it lined I'm just going to gently flick so right where that is I don't want to go too far but you want to keep it uh, lined up with your eye so there is the wing now my eyes are hooded which is also like I said why I like doing um, Halo eyes, they just accent my eye better. So now that I've got that done, I'm gonna put mascara on, do my other eye. Okay, so now that I've put my lashes on, I went ahead and tried to see if this white liner that I have by NYX to line my waterline, if it was, like, if I still had enough to try to put it on, because it's very nubby, and no matter how many sharpeners I find, it just, it won't sharpen. So, I have a little bit on there, but I am going to go back into the So Fire palette, and then we're going to go ahead and do the under eye. I'm going to go into that orange shade right here in the pan, and kind of just go under just a little bit to my under eye. Just underneath where I put the white liner. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go into that deep brown right here, and I'm just going to kind of go over it ever so slightly to make it just a little bit more darker. Just like that. And I'm going to do the same to the other side. And so I'm going to go into my Honest Beauty mascara. Now I did use this on the top with the primers. The primers on one side, the mascara's on the other. I like it. But my only problem with it is that the brush is just so tight and 
you can't really guess like won't well, see it from here but like the bottom part the spikes are small and as it goes up they get a little longer but it's so spiky on the eye and it kind of feels prickly and it hurts a little but I like it like I like the formula if that makes sense but um, nonetheless I'm gonna take it to the bottom lashes which I think would be better for it There is that for highlighter. I'm going to hop into my Glamour Edge Beauty one and I'm gonna go into that green one right here. I'm gonna take it to the inner and then I'm gonna take it to the brow bone. Right. So I'm gonna wet down my JH42 and I'm gonna go into that shade. I believe it is called Within. And then we're going to go ahead and take it to the inner parts of our eye and spray your brush down, of course. Ooh. This makes this like pop so much more. That's intense. Okay, now I'm going to go into, I know it sounds excessive. I'm going to take my uh, Morphe brush that has no number, but it's from that Rose Gold Eye Collection, and I'm going to go into my, I'm going to go into my MAC Hyper Real Glow palette right here, but I'm going to spray my face first, use my bougie fan, and now I'm going to take that brush and my Hyper Real Glow MAC palette. And I'm actually going to dive into this, mm, this middle shade right here. Take it to the high point of the cheek. Take it right just above the temple. Take it to the inner part right here on the nose. Take it to the tip of the nose. Cupid's bow. And lastly, the other side. Cool. So now we gotta do lips. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my MAC lip liner in Oak and I'm gonna line my lips. And I'm gonna go and take, instead of a lipstick, I'm gonna take my Fenty Gloss Balm in Fenty Glow and I'm just gonna put it all over the lip, lip, the lips. And then this is extra. But I'm going to go and take my Fenty Gloss Balm in Diamond and Milk, and I'm just going to put it on the center. Just to give it a little bit more shine. So now we're going to bring you in close so you can check out this flawless look by yours truly. Alright, and there you have it. That is the final look using the KKW Beauty eyeshadow palette from the collection So Fire. And I did have the chance to mess around with a few beauty products, although I didn't use this. I will. I'm on the fence about the mascara, but I did like the formula. So I'm not trying to bash it, but I did enjoy the formula maybe not necessarily the applicator but this is the look that i came up with so if you want to see more videos from me please comment like and subscribe and make sure to hit that um bell notification so you don't miss a thing so i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one bye guys Bye.